excited, like I said, for a new start, uh, pretty much a fresh start. And um, we also had number one pick in Zion and a bunch of other good, good guys to play with. So just looking forward to it. Lonzo Ball was the number two pick in the 2017 draft to the Lakers, but he never seemed like himself offensively. Now on a new team, Lonzo has changed. And here's what's different. What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. Lonzo Ball has had an interesting preseason filled with highlights and a different Lonzo. He's changed his shot. And now he's throwing lobs to Zion. But there's a lot more to him that's changed than just his shot in a new team. So I want to break all this down. Drop a like for the amount of assists Lonzo will give to Zion. A good 7,347. I will be streaming on my second channel tonight trying to get that new LeBron James. So you could come and watch me fail miserably. And to the 91% that watch my videos that still aren't subscribed, Lonzo has a new shot i think it's time for a change so please subscribe Nani? now lonzo has his music good and bad and you need something to listen to that with that's great and affordable so i want to thank raycon for sponsoring this video raycon sent me the e25 true wireless earbuds their latest and best model yet with six hours of playtime seamless bluetooth pairing more bass and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit so if you want to listen to Shaq's this on dame these earbuds got you and go with you anywhere. You know the best part? They sound great, but they're less than half the price of other premium wireless earbuds, and they sound just as good as other top audio brands. They even got Henny God wearing them. Personally, I like how these fit with multiple ear tips. Yeah, they got one for pretty much everyone. And also, they get pretty loud, so I can use them while playing some 2K. And if you go to the link in the description, you can get an additional 15% off. So go check them out. They got some new fun colorways too. Supporting them does support me in this channel so I can keep giving y'all content. Plus, it's 15% off. Lonzo Ball was sort of an afterthought in the Lakers offense last year. With LeBron James being added to the team, obviously most of the offensive load was given to him. But it didn't help that Luke Walton was inconsistently playing Lonzo Ball, whether it was the weird starts or being in and out of the closing lineup in the fourth quarter. The Pelicans are different because they need Lonzo Ball. Lonzo is a key piece that Pelicans and the coach Alvin Gentry is relying on for the Pelicans' success. Alvin Gentry Entry is hyped. Now his stats in the preseason might not really be all that impressive, but it's how he's playing that has changed. Taking a look at just the stats, he's only averaging 9.5 points on 6 assists on 32.4% from the field and 30% from 3. Which isn't anything special and is actually lower than what he was just averaging last season at 9.9 .9 points at 40.6% from the field and 32.4% from 3. But it's not his percentages that matter right now. It's the a change in how Lonzo's actually approaching the game. It still is preseason, so I'll compare Lonzo to his last couple of preseasons and his last season. For one, Lonzo is taking more threes. This preseason, he's averaging 5.8 attempts per game in only 22.6 minutes a game, which is higher than the 4.9 he took in 30 minutes a game last season. And last preseason, he only took two a game. Even if the shooting percentage is right now lower, what matters is that he feels confident enough to take threes within the confines of this offense. It's not just catch and shoot threes that he's comfortable with taking, he's good with taking shots off the dribble. That is exactly what he did in UCLA where he never 
thought about taking a three too much. He knew a balance between shooting and passing, but when his confidence in his shot wavered on the Lakers, he became over passive. Now, whether it's his new shot, Alvin Gentry trusting the ball in Lonzo's hands, new plays with less pressure, or a combination of everything, Lonzo's confidence is back. What that means is that the defense simply can't relax when he has the ball in his hands. They can't just drop down to cover the passing lanes. And Lonzo has been punishing defenders for going under screens, and so now defenses have to step up. Just the confidence alone will change how you fundamentally guard Lonzo Ball. And then there's his aggressive play. Lonzo isn't just dribbling around the perimeter in a half-court setting, he's actually driving to the rim. I haven't seen Lonzo consistently put this much pressure on defense since his very first couple of games in his rookie season. He's using the pick and just bursting past the defender. A lot of times in his last few seasons, Lonzo would hold on to the ball at the three-point line and look to immediately pass. He would wait until someone got open and thread the needle to get to them. Lonzo has always been a great passer, but on the Pelicans, he's forcing the defense to react to him with the ball instead of the defense just guarding the passing lane. Lonzo isn't hesitating as much. He's not doing this. And while Lonzo finishing the layup is a great use of his size and length, driving and using his passing vision to find the open man is by far what makes Lonzo so special. Lonzo lowered his driving from 7.4 drives per game in his rookie season to 5 a game in his last season. While the stats only show Lonzo averaging 6 assists this preseason, remember that is only in 22 minutes a game and doesn't include when his teammates got fouled or missed the shots. Some of Lonzo's passes off his drives gave an open look that was either disrupted by a foul or led to a whole defensive shift. That is more like UCLA Lonzo when he broke the freshman assist record. While college defense didn't have all the athleticism and quickness of an NBA defense, Lonzo wasn't so hesitant to just drive by a defense. And now in the Pelicans, Lonzo is kind of reverting back to college Lonzo who didn't doubt himself on the offensive side. Lonzo already has some special chemistry with Zion Williamson. You know, the guy that's averaging 23 points on 71% from the field and also doing this. Zion's already said, I don't think he's thrown a bad pass yet. With Lonzo having the ball more in his hands, everyone knows that all they have to do is move around and they will get the pass. One of the main reasons Lonzo and Zion work so well together is because of the timing of Lonzo's passes. A lot of passers tend to pass the ball when the player is open so that the player doesn't need to do anything and just can immediately take the shot. Lonzo is different. He likes to pass the ball a little earlier, in rhythm, but right before they have to take a move into the shot. This is perfect for a player like Zion. Lonzo gets him the ball just as Zion's beginning to cut. Zion gets the ball in stride and either takes the opening all the way to the rim or if the opening closes, puts a move on to get to the rim. As I mentioned in my previous video on why Zion is so good in the preseason, no one can stay in front of him if he gets a two-step head start. If Lonzo was to pass it later when Zion gets in scoring position, Zion wouldn't get to take advantage of his speed at that size. And then Zion would be forced to kind to shoot off standing vertical and not get the bouncing effect when he is just driving. Zion moves off the ball so much that it gives Lonzo another option. Defenders also bounce off LeBron too, but LeBron didn't move off the ball nearly as much as Zion does, and when LeBron did, Lonzo found him in stride. And then there's the whole fast break thing that Lonzo has been excelling in since he's been on the Lakers. Nothing much has changed there except he has Zion running with him. The Lakers went from 1st to 27th in fast break frequency without Lonzo, so he fits right in with the new Pelicans and their fast pace. And that's what this seems like a great fit. Lonzo himself said that he felt as if he didn't live up to the number 2 pick standards and that he didn't do it to the best of his abilities. The Pelicans are another chance and as of right now, I think the most important part of all of this is that Lonzo is confident. The feelings of pressure, of disbelief, of all the front office lies, all that are gone. Along with that, Lonzo has had a more healthy offseason which allowed him to work. So yeah, Lonzo Ball's stats might not seem all that different 
different. But what he's doing on the court is completely different from those Lakers days. It's more of the original Lonzo Ball that had the nation in the craze when he got drafted. And I think that's a good thing. But what do you think? How will Lonzo perform? Will he ever be an all-star? Drop a like if you like the new look Pelicans cause I do. Big shout out to Raycon for sponsoring this video. They are some seriously good earbuds so go check the link in the description for a 15% off cause it's a great deal for you guys and it helps me out. Remember I'm also going to be streaming on my second channel tonight so if you want to come and chill, watch me fail pack openings, come through. And if you stay till this point of the video, you a real one so comment new so I know. The Instagram shout of the day goes to Magical Gene and the all day notification shout goes to the super jazz fan who is super excited about the season because the jazz actually have a chance, Joshua. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to hit the bell for all day notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button join the all day community for more fire content all day support. It's your boy MJ, we out.